apply the question yourself when you have done it and then watch the clip here is the sketch First we sketch the function f when x is equal to 0 function value is equal to 1 so we label the point the minimum point here 1 then the gradient is equal to 1 so when x is 1 y v2 so we sketch the right hand side branch like that and then same way we sketch the left hand side branch now we sketch the function g value of this function is 0 and that happens when x is equal to 2 and when x is equal to 0 the function value is equal to 4 so we sketch the left hand side branch then we sketch the right hand side branch Now we're going to point, find the points of intersection. So there's two points of intersection. One is here. And the other point is there. Now for this point, function f, we use the right hand side branch. Or function f equal to the left hand side branch of the function g so that means x plus 1 is equal to the left hand side branch minus 2x plus 4 take minus 2x to the left 1 to the right we get 3x is equal to 3 Therefore, x is equal to 1. In this function, when x is 1, y is equal to 2. So we have the coordinates here, 1 and y is equal to 2. For this point, we use the right hand side branch of function f again. And this time, right hand side branch of function g. So we have x plus 1 equal to 2x minus 4. Take x to the right hand side minus 4 to the left. We get 5 equal to x. This is the point 5 there. And this was the point 1. So when x is equal to 5 from here function value is 6 so this is the second coordinate of intersection then we have to solve the inequality so we have 2x minus 4 and a modular sign minus x and modular sign less than 1 so this is basically 2x minus 4 less than x and a modular sign plus 1 so this is a function g 
and less than function f. Now the function g is here less than function f or this side. Basically between this value 1 and 5. So the solution of this inequality is x is between 1 and 5. 